Hello and thank you for watching another one of our tax software training videos. We appreciate your time. And uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the Affordable Care Act and how you complete those items in the software. As you know, the Affordable Care Act is still a relatively new thing, but um, we've made it as easy as possible to complete. As you also know, it's required to be done on every tax return, every living, breathing, tax filing human being in the country is now required to reconcile their health insurance coverage through the tax return. So how do we do that here? Well, first of all, we're going to click on health insurance. We created its own tab. It's its own little module. Very, very simple. And the first question is, did you or your family have health insurance at any time in 2014? We're going to say, yes, we did. Click continue. Did you purchase this through healthcare.gov or the state marketplace? If you say yes, at this point, we're going to expect, there's going to be a follow-up question. Um, did you receive a 1095A? If you did receive a 1095A, that means you received some sort of advanced premium subsidy from the IRS, and we're going to reconcile that based on what you said was your income versus what your actual income was. So you could receive a little bit more of a refund um, by if you were underpaid because you made less than you said, or you could receive a little bit of a, a, a recapture um, and re a reduction of your refund. If you were overpaid, you made more. So we've got a couple people in our family. We're going to click continue. These are all the members of the family. Was the entire household insured for all 12 months? We're going to make it very simple and say yes. If you say no, it becomes a little bit more of a problem. How many months was Hannah covered? I don't know. Uh, 11. Um, and then you would receive a prorated penalty for all this. So we're going to go back and we're just going to say yes to keep our scenario simple. Click continue. And did you receive money in advance? So did you receive the 1095A? Yes, we did. Was it uniform for all 12 months? At any point, did you call CMS up and say, or uh, change your income projection? You were hired, you were fired, you got a raise, you got a re reduction of income. You would go ahead and just say yes. If, it, if the answer is no, it was not uniform all 12 months, your coverage didn't start until March, you say no, you just earned yourself a fantastic 36 entries. Very, very common. If you've seen a 1095A, if you've seen one, you've seen them all, they look pretty much like this. And you would go ahead and you would enter month by month, you know, second lowest cost, silver plan, what did it cost, premium tax credit. Uh, anyway, we're going to say yes, just to keep it simple. We're going to say that uh, the premium amount was uh, 500 bucks. The annual premium, second lowest cost was 750 and our premium tax credit, well, I don't know, even know how these numbers are going to impact the refund. But we're going to put them in, and we'll see whether we went up or we went down. It was 9800 even. We lost a couple bucks. We were overpaid a little bit, um, as you would say. Did you receive an exemption certificate? Nope. We click continue, and congratulations, we completed our health care component of the tax return. Now you can get on to uh, entering in the rest of their forms. And uh, that's what we wanted to cover. It took us a little over three and a half minutes. Hope it wasn't too painful. We look forward to working with you this year. Thank you very much for the opportunity.